let's do part one that is uh, we have to determine price in terms of x so here we are given the price demand relation of iron which is given as uh, x equals 1000 minus 20 p now we have to solve for p so that uh, we can write p in terms of x so first i add up uh, 20 p on both sides so when i do that uh, i get 20 p plus x equals uh, 1000 now i subtract x from both sides so i get uh, 20 p equals 1000 uh, minus x i divide both sides by 20 so therefore i get uh, p equals 1000 minus x over 20. so this can be written as a function of uh, x that is uh, p of x equals 1000 minus x over 20. we can split this into two fraction and uh, give it in decimal form that is, uh, we can write down this as 1000 over 20 minus uh, x over 20. So 1000 by 20 is uh, 50 and uh, 1 by 20 is 0 0.05. So therefore, this becomes uh, 0 0.05x. So this is basically the P of x function. We will now determine the uh, domain of this function p of x. So for this, uh, I'm going to utilize this form that is uh, p of x uh, equals 1000 minus x over 20. Remember that uh, price of a product could not be negative. So we can set up the equality that is uh, p of x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So this means this has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we focus only this uh, inequality and uh, we determine the x from this inequality. So I multiply uh, by 20 on both sides. When I do that, I get uh, 1000 minus x greater than or equal to 0. Now I subtract uh, 1000. This becomes uh, negative x greater than or equal to negative 1000. So we divide both sides by negative 1. Remember that when we divide or multiply by negative 1, we have to flip this inequality sign. So therefore, this becomes x less than or equal to negative 1000 divided by negative 1 is uh, positive 1000. So basically, this represents the domain of the function. That is, x has to be less than or equal to 1000. And once again, uh, the x represents the number of items. So this x cannot be negative. So we can say that uh, x uh, should be greater than 0. So therefore, the domain of the function p of x is uh, x greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1000. In part 2, we find the uh, revenue function that is r of x and its domain. So basically, the revenue function is the product of the number of items times the price per item. So that is written as x times of p of x. So we substitute the function p of x into this equation. So therefore, r of x equals x times of p of x is 50 minus 0.05x. We can do the distribution of x inside the terms. So x times of 50 is uh, 50x minus uh, 0.05 x times of uh, x is x squared. So this is the revenue function r of x. Now we find the domain of this uh, revenue function. Since uh, r of x is uh, product of x as well as the product function, as well as the price function, it basically follows the domain of the uh, price function. So therefore, the domain of R of X is also X uh, greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1000. Let's answer uh, part 3. In part 3, we have to determine the marginal revenue for 400 ions. So first, uh, let's write down the function marginal revenue. Remember that uh, marginal uh, revenue is the derivative of the revenue function. So we utilize this uh, revenue function and find its derivative. So R of X, uh, we know it is uh, 50X minus of 
negative 0.05x squared. So I find the derivative 2 on both sides. Derivative of r of x is r prime of x. This basically is the marginal revenue. So this gives uh, 50 times of derivative of x is 1 minus uh, 0 0.05 and derivative of x squared is uh, 2x. So this can be further simplified as r prime of x equals uh, 50 minus uh, we multiply 0 0.05 with 2 and this gives uh, 0 0.01 and then we have this x so it is 50 minus 0 0.01 x so this is the marginal revenue function now we have to determine marginal revenue for 400 ions so basically we plug in x equal to 400 into this marginal revenue equation so therefore we get uh, r prime of 400 equals 50 minus of 0.1 times of replace x by 100 so this becomes 0.1 times of 400 so we we calculate this this uh, equals uh, 50 minus of 0.1 times of 400 is uh, 40 so therefore this becomes 50 minus 40 is uh, 10 so basically this is in dollars so therefore we say that uh, r prime of 400 that is the marginal revenue for 400 ions is dollar 10 Let's uh, interpret this result. Uh, basically, the marginal revenue gives the revenue obtained for the next one item when the next one item is uh, sold. So basically, we have found the R prime of 400 is uh, $10. So this means the revenue obtained by selling the 401st item. 401st item is dollar 10 so this is the interpretation of the marginal revenue for 400 ions